Well, the reimagined rover worked very well today. Here it is sitting on its home position. Manual mode. You can run it about anywhere you want to in manual mode. Sorry about the video. I'm hand holding an iPad while also holding an RC radio while trying to think about what I'm doing. So here I'll flip the return to home. Come home, Rover. Come home. Nice little safety feature. Really like to get going soon. Ah, uh, good boy. Flip it back in manual mode. You'll stick it in another part of the yard here. Let's take it down here. That's good. Rover, come home. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. He's a good boy. Stick it in manual mode. Oops. Finger over the lens. <laughs> uh, manual mode one last time. Eh, it doesn't really much matter. It's going to go home no matter where it is. Watch out for the telephone pole, please. Good boy, who goes home? I also programmed in 12 waypoints in a random configuration. I just switched it to auto mode. It's going to run those waypoints. really was no rhyme or reason to the pattern I just chose places on the ground and clicked really simple uh -oh, getting nervous about the tree uh, you gotta let the young ones roam oh, gotta let them succeed or fail and let's shut that off. <laughs> it would have run into the bush. Okay, let me back it down and click Rover Come Home. So in that case, the bush would have been a problem. Good boy. Great finger shot again. I'll try it one more time. Flip it to auto.
<laughs> oh boy. Ah, good. You always worry when the wee ones are starting out. You always want to run and throw a pillow underneath them. And it's the opposite of what you need to do. I know people are still doing that with their 40 and 50 year old children. tipped over Charles's bucket the last time. Looks like this run I'm gonna miss it. There's a uh, few feet. There it is. Hit the last waypoint. I'm just gonna click return to launch and again the bush would have been a problem so I'll back it up, move it around the bush, reflip, return to launch, return to home. Good boy. So I went inside and I clicked and I told it I wanted to create a circle. Uh, I wanted the circle to be 30 yards across and I wanted it to have 22 waypoints. So I stored that in the machine, took it back outside. Well, actually, I left it outside, programmed it from inside. Go home, Rover. <laughs> We want to go to a start place. Now you go home. I'll be right there with you. Good boy. Okay. Flip it into auto mode this time and see how it runs the circle. One of the reasons I chose a rock crawler for first experiments, number one, I can catch that even if it goes crazy. That's top speed. Number two, it'll crawl almost over anything. Go, Rover, go. Don't stop there this time. There you go. Keep following them waypoints. So that was a quick click. Told it the radius, how many waypoints I wanted. R wrote the waypoints to the computer via telemetry. Done. A uh, little trouble coming up here. I don't really want to go down that. Uh, whoops. I just click return to home. I didn't want to go down the steps. <laughs> I go ahead and click it back into auto. Let it start running the circle again. See how it does. Miss the telephone pole. Should have made my radius 25 yards. Here comes Charles home. I turned over his bucket. <laughs> I need to go talk to him. Don't stop there. there you Keep running them waypoints. Go tell Charles I turned over his bucket. <laughs> Charles used to work at an RC shop. He's a great resource for all this. 
radius is still too big on the circle <laughs> Charles has some outdoor lights solar type lights I don't want to hit them so I just hit return to home return to launch we'll play with that circle a little bit later Good boy. Okay, somebody said this whole project was for first person viewing. I just take the old GoPro and stick it on the front of this butter dish here. There we go. This is what it's ultimately all about. Except for I should be sitting someplace and viewing this through a set of video goggles and the transmission of the video data is done by a transmitter and a receiver I might be 15 miles away uh, let's see what the rock crawler will do oh, it's wet here yeah tires got wet oh, I mean, I don't even have a problem with this step Well, if at first you don't succeed, back up and take a harder run at it. <laughs> All right, go, go, go. Oh, come on. Uh, and the wet's just not going to hack it. Let's try a little angle. Back and forth. Just catch one little lug. There you go. Alright. Back down should be no problem. Here we go. Oops. Looks like uh, you shouldn't mount your GoPro with uh, double sided tape. <laughs> Might should have wiped that smudge off the GoPro also. The lens wasn't scratched. Uh, it'll climb right over this, no sweat. Uh-oh. <laughs> Double-sided tape failure again. <laughs> I think I better find a little better way of fixing a camera. I'll be using my FPV camera tomorrow. This is just for kicks and grins. So, that's really about what it's all about. Except for doing this with a quad or an airplane or a boat or a submarine or a rover like this from miles and miles away. I had a little plastic, little relay. Ba boom! So, a lot of things can be made very dangerous, especially if you're trained to know how to make them dangerous. So, hit return to launch here. Return to home. And there she goes. She's headed for that same home spot in the yard. found it all right well that's what this is all about take her inside and charge her up see how much battery we use estimate time I played with it for about 40 minutes today uh, it's actually pretty fun it's gonna be much more fun tomorrow when uh, video transmitter is on I think I can mount the camera in the front so that even if it rolls, uh, the camera will be protected by that plastic Tupperware bowl, whatever. It's a wash tub racer for the hill fall at Chimney Rock Hill Climb. <laughs> Not even too jittery for 
no stabilization or any kind of vibration dampening yet. I'll open the door for you. Watch the cats. Uh, cats generally don't even worry about it. Oh well. There you go. Watch out, Felix. Okay. Oscar's just gonna lay there. He don't care one way or another. Run it over to the charging station. Charge it up. Make some calculations. Mount the real FPV camera and FPV transmitter. Done.